I've noticed over my years of teaching that people have different motivations for learning English. Some people want to improve their English to improve their job prospects, perhaps get a pay rise, get a better position in the company they are already in, or perhaps even move to an English speaking country and get a completely new job. This video, however, is for people who are looking to improve their English so that they can find a partner, a girlfriend, a wife, a, you know, a boyfriend, a husband. Um, and I am going to be sharing my top tips on how to do that. Because the other day I was looking in Facebook and I noticed that people sometimes write comments like, I am looking for an English wife. And um, I think there are better ways of going about it than that. So come with me and I'll tell you how. So why should you listen to me on that? Now, I am not saying that I am any kind of relationship guru. I'm just gonna share my experiences. I'm fortunate enough to have a beautiful wife, lovely, lovely woman who I've nearly been married to for 10 years and she's the mother of my children and an absolutely phenomenal person. I got lucky, um, but I also helped my own luck by applying some of these tips, probably not deliberately. So tip number one is to take the indirect route. Now, what does that mean? It means not being fixated on, I need to find girlfriend, I need to find wife, because that's quite narrow-minded. Actually, what is required is to go on a journey of growth so that you are someone that people are attracted to, so that you have life experiences, so you have stories to share and you can be like entertaining when you meet people. So that's my first tip. Go on a journey, yeah? Sometimes these things happen when you're not expecting them to happen. So... If you think about it less and think about enjoying life more, then you're in a better, better state of mind to attract good things to you. Tip number two, take inspiration from nature. Now, on a Sunday evening, it can be quite relaxing to maybe watch a David Attenborough program where he's talking about like the zebras and the wildebeests and the hippos and things. But there's actually quite a lot to learn from those animals. And if you look at what the male specimens are doing in a lot of those documentaries, they are the ones that have to attract the mate. They are often the ones that have to sort out the nest and, and make a home so that the woman wants to, that the female wants to come to them. So the lesson here is, okay, set things up. Yeah. Have you created a home that someone would like to move into? Um, uh, are you are you dressing well? I'm not saying that I always dress well. Um, are you, you know, are you are you someone that people want to be around? OK, on to tip number three. Tip number three, trust in time. Now. The way I like to think about this and with opportunities in general is that it's like the tide. Yeah? You, the, the tide never stops. The moon pulls the tide. The tide comes in, the tide goes out. Now, sometimes relationships don't work. Yeah? So that one, that goes out, that finishes, but then a new opportunity, a new beginning comes. And, especially when you're kind of growing up and you haven't found that right person, don't worry, you know, just think, okay, that didn't work. Something good will happen. A new opportunity will come. Okay. Another phrase, there's plenty of fish in the sea. Tip number four, unreciprocated. Now that's quite a difficult word. Basically it means when you like someone and they don't like you back in a romantic way. So unreciprocated love is not, means that, it, that that relationship 
is not right. So if you're getting a bit obsessed with someone and they're like, please go away, then don't keep going da 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 because it's just going to cause pain for everyone involved. Okay, so unreciprocated go, okay, time to move on. Um, now, I'm going to share my story now. So, how it all happened for me. I was performing some theatre at the Edinburgh Festival, probably the biggest performing arts festival in the world. I took a show there, performed it for a month. It was a pretty crazy show and I was very, very tired after it. But I was asked by a couple of friends to go to a festival and I was like, okay, I'll go. So I packed my bag. It reminds me of a game. I packed my bag and in it I put, I didn't, I packed my bag and in it I put a tent and some food and a sleeping bag, put it on the back of the bicycle and off I went. Got on the train, bicycled to the festival and found my friends, camped next to them. First night, spent my money. It's like, woke up the next day, ah, dear. Haven't got any money left. Um, my friend, he, he's running the bar. I'll go and work on the bar and uh, you know, that's a nice way of spending the day. So I'm working there, making drinks, and then suddenly this beautiful girl comes along and I make her a drink and, and you know, as they say, the rest is history. So there's a few lessons to take from my story. I'm not gonna go into all the details of that, that's for another time. But let's look at my top tips from that story. Tip number five, have fun and be in a good space. So if you're giving off uh, feelings of like, yeah, I'm having a great time, then people want to be around you. Yeah, people want to speak to you. If you're like, life is bad, there are problems, then people don't want to speak to you as much. So be in a good space, have some fun. Going back to that first tip, don't always think I'm trying to find this. Like, no, 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 no. The focus should be, I want to have fun. I want to have an adventure. What's going on here? Let's see. My next tip, accept invitations. If a friend says, hey, come along to this gig, come along to this, come, come along to my friend's house, go along. Yeah, you might not be in the mood. You might be like, oh, I really feel like staying at home. But you never know what's going to happen. Like, be open-minded. And then, what's my next tip? It's kind of stuck here. My next one, tip number seven, is check there's a sense of flow. So once you have met a, a special person, it should feel good. You, you should enjoy being in that person's company. If not, then maybe it's, it's the wrong person. Um, that was certainly my experience that, you know, we had, we had, we had a nice time. And I'm going to choose, share with you now a quote from one of my favourite books, Shantaram, written by Gregory Roberts. It's like a, a traveller classic. He's uh, an Australian writer, talks about his time out in uh, Mumbai. And, you know, it's, it's a very exciting book. I won't share the storyline, but there's this wonderful character in it. I think he's called Vikram. And he, he wears like a cowboy hat and he, he's a super cool dude. And he's, he's explaining to the main character in the book who doesn't really understand about commitment. And he, he says this to him. He says, a man has to find a good woman. Now, when I say man, I'm not being like gender specific and I'm not just talking about heterosexual relationships. I'm talking about a person finding another person and going, this is the person. So this is the quote. A man has to find a good woman, and when he finds her, he has to win her love. And then he has to earn her respect. Then he has to cherish her trust. Yeah, cherish, to, to appreciate. And then he has to, like, go on doing that for as long as they live. A man is truly a man when he wins the love of a good woman, earns her respect, 
and keeps her trust. Okay, so let's kind of break that down a little bit. Win her love, earn her respect, cherish her trust. So, you know, you're, you're, you keep on being good to that person. You keep on giving that person what they need. It doesn't just stop at the moment where you meet someone. It's a continuous kind of process. Okay, so those are my tips for finding you know, a, a special person, if you're looking to meet a, an English speaking partner, you know, be open minded, have an adventure, think about what you enjoy doing, and then hopefully the stars will align and you will find that special person. Thank you for watching. My name's Benjamin. Do subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.